All right, well, let me begin with the official cheers and welcome to each and every one of you. Doug here with TheLincolnList.com and welcome to another edition of Happy Hour with The Lincoln where I will bestow upon you my knowledge and lessons that I have learned through two decades of stock market trading, all in the attempts that you can be profitable beyond your wildest dreams. Not really, just so you can be a little bit better and start going down that right path and start being more consistent and more profitable. Now, if you guys feel there's some topic that I haven't covered during happy hour, there's something that you specifically would like for me to cover, I'm gonna post my email address up here at any time. Just feel free to just reach out to me and share your thoughts and feelings, and I'll do my best to put them in an up upcoming happy hours. Also, don't forget, ever since I moved into the new office here, I've been live streaming, so every day that the market is open, I'm there, man. I'm there, and I'm trading live, and I'm live streaming right from this office. So that's a good way for you guys to see an up-close look on how us traders and the other people in the room approach trading and how we handle each trading day. So what we're gonna talk about in today's happy hour is we're gonna work on the mind. The most important asset that we have here is the mind. And to be a trader, a successful trader, you need to be well-rounded in the brain up there. You need to have the street smarts, the book smarts, the gritty smarts. You need all of this stuff put together to really get a great trading career and a long-term trading career. So what we're gonna to do today is talk about how do you increase your mental performance? How can you put yourself in that right frame of mind, start to see better results through your mentality with your trading, and start to see that improvement? Again, I think we're all under the same agreement here that trading is all mental. It's all mental. I don't care if you're throwing darts. You're not even using a process. You're just guessing and winging darts. If you're strong mentally, you're going to figure out a way to make it. And that's what we're going to talk about. So when we talk about how to increase mental performance, we want to look at ourselves as traders as being in a performance-based business because we are. So we're no different like athletes that we're paid for our performance. You know, like an actor is paid for their performance and, and we're paid by our performance. So we need to be mentally sharp. And one way we do that, or the best way that we do that, and the first step that we take, it comes from preparation. If we don't understand something and we don't know how something works, we're automatically going to be afraid of it, right? If you don't understand, if you don't know what you're looking for, you're not going to find it. If you don't understand something, you're naturally going to be afraid of it or it's going to be confusing to you. So preparation cuts down on a lot of mental mistakes a trader might make or a lot of mental problems that we might get ourselves into. So you guys out there that have a process or you have an understanding of the market or you've been trading for a little while, you know what I'm talking about for new people out there. You have to have something that we've talked about several times in happy hours, a way to identify yourself. You need to have a process, you need to have a system, a formula that you go about researching these stocks, but every single day when the market opens, no matter what that is, you have to have a game plan. Now, I used to in my younger years when I was struggling as a trader until it just became second nature and muscle memory, I used to write down plan A, B, and C. So for example, if I felt that the day was going to be bullish, I would start out the very beginning of the day by writing down on a notebook what my bias was for the day. Am I bullish? Am I bearish? And I would list three stocks. I once did a video on this, if I can remember to, when I'm editing this, I'll put it in there. Like, you know, three stocks, three different scenarios would play out with those three different stocks. So when you think about something, a stock will either take off in the morning, it'll sell off in the morning, or it's going to go flat. So being prepared for all three of those scenarios, let me know, hey, if this stock goes up, this is what I'm gonna do with it. If this stock goes down at the open, this is what I'm gonna do with it. If this stock does absolutely nothing at the open, this is what I'm going to do with it. So just being prepared and having this rehearsed out in your mind is really gonna help you guys perform better because it's gonna alleviate anxiety, it's going to alleviate stress, and it's really gonna have you in that right frame of mind to execute, and that's what we're here to do is execute after we you know, we're prepared, we execute. That's what we're supposed to do. The second way that you can increase your mental performance is, I know you'll hear this on social media a lot about people fall in love with trading. It's all they want to do. They can't wait till Mondays. They want to trade all the time. Look, man, I get it. But you need some form of disconnect from the markets in general. So when I look at it, the market's open for about six, what, six hours, six and a half hours a day or something like that. You can't trade all six and a half hours. You're not going to be mentally strong all six and a half hours. And if you do, you're gonna burn yourself out. 
There's not opportunities happening through all of those hours. We've talked about this before as well. If you guys are new and you don't know, most of the action happens in the first two hours of the morning and then the last hours. So what I like to do for longevity and stamina is I really like to focus on those first two to three hours out of the day. That's where I'm gonna make 90% of my money. So once I have done that, and that time is over, it's time for me to withdraw and disconnect from the markets in general. That means I'm not just sitting at my desk randomly staring at charts and just flipping through stuff. I'll get up, maybe take a walk. I'll go outside, get some fresh air. Maybe have a coffee outside, you know. Maybe I'll do something, uh, mess around with my motorcycles or something, play a little guitar. Just something to take off the stress that I just went through. I'm not saying that it's incredibly stressful, but just kind of like detune my brain a little bit, relax it, and get it back down to a good state so I'm ready for the afternoon. And I've been doing that for years. So basically what I'm suggesting here is you can't keep an intense mindset over a long period of time. You're going to fatigue and you're going to burn out and you can't do that. So one way is to use those in patches. So I sort of, my trading comes in spurts. I sort of come and go. I'll just hit it real hard in the morning, pull back a little later come back at it later in the day, and I do that. And it helps me string together great consistency throughout the whole week. The third one is your physical being. Now this may sound stupid to a lot of you people, but we work as humans, this is a unit, right? This whole thing is a unit. It's an extension of itself, right? So if your body is in tune, your brain should be in tune. If your brain is out of tune, so will your body. A great example is this, when you get depressed, upset, frustrated, you get out of character, your brain goes through some trauma. What do we like to do? Maybe eat junk food, right? Comfort foods to make us feel better, to re-stimulate our mind or whatever. But the thing is, if you have a great physical being, the chances are you'll be able to perform better mentally. And that doesn't mean if you're just sloppy, fat, lazy, that you're not smart and you can't do this job. You can. But remember, we're looking for every little edge that we have, right? We're trying to make ourselves better. And we got to constantly work on ourselves. So, you know, like I said in the beginning, I've been doing this for like two decades, right? And the whole time I've constantly been improving. I've constantly been working on myself. I constantly read psychological books. I constantly look at charts. Like I've never stopped consuming data. I've never stopped learning. I've never stopped working on myself as a person. And this also will bleed over in it, not just in your professional life, but this will also move on to your personal life. If you just, if you have a great phys, not a, you don't need to be like yoked muscle, right? And ripped washboard ass. But if you just feel better physically, just feeling better physically, looking better physically, you're going to feel better mentally. You're going to think better mentally. And that's going to bleed throughout your whole life. It's going to work better in your relationships. It's going to work better in your, your, your friendships. And it's going to work better in like your, your business, right? You're going to have that one unit. So remember, your physical being is important. And I know I kind of goof around here with the alcohol. I don't drink during the week. This is just a joke. I do not drink in the week. If I did, if I have a drink on the weekend, it's just a little sip. I don't get hammered. I don't do all this other stuff, you know? The last also here that I want to talk about, which would be number four, is sleep, right? You've got to get really good sleep, resting that mind at night. I know a lot of times when I was doing both careers, when I had the motorcycle store and then I was trading, a lot of my results were suffering from the things that I had mentioned to you, the things that we're talking about today. But one of those was sleep because... The circumstances forced me at the time that after work, I'm here on the West Coast, if you haven't heard the story, I'll just quickly buzz it right through you. I'd get up six, six o'clock in the morning here on the East Coast. I now get up at five, I mean West Coast, excuse me, on the West Coast, get up at five o'clock and I would study for my market and I would trade between 6.30 when the market opens and about nine o'clock. That's nine o'clock in the morning is lunchtime on the East Coast. So then after that, I would open up my bike store like at 11, get ready for that. And then I would work on bikes all night long until the store closed, which was about 8, 9 p.m. And then from 8 to 9 p.m. after that, I would study, would look at charts again and get prepared for the next day. That was exhausting because sometimes those nights went into 11, midnight, 1 o'clock, and then I'd get up at 5 in the morning. So this depriving of sleep 
really hinders your mental performance, probably be worse than all of that. Because you know, you we sometimes wake up, sometimes you wake up and you're just not feeling it, you're sick. You're tired, maybe you got sinuses or something. And I've always kind of recommended, if you're too groggy or a little under the weather, you probably shouldn't trade. So remember what we're talking about here is trading is a performance-based business. And we're rewarded by the strength of our mentality. That's what we need to get us to the edge. We've got to have strong mentality. And having a strong mentality means that we're prepared for every scenario that comes our way. We take moments to take in life that's around us, to disconnect, enjoy a hobby like hiking, playing guitar, riding a motorcycle, stitching, knitting, playing with fidget spinners, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Taking care of your physical being, your internal self, feeling better physically, looking better physically, then performing better mentally, eating better, right? Eating better, drinking more water, just small little things that every single person can do, and then getting better sleep. Now, the reason why I say this is so important is everything that I mentioned, guys, takes no talent whatsoever, right? You don't need any talent to go to bed an extra hour earlier. You don't need talent for that, right? You don't need a degree to go to bed earlier. You don't need a degree to be prepared, you know? You don't need any of these extra skills. It's just determination. You just have to simply be determined and do it. And if you do these steps and you put them in order, I'm sure your trading is going to do better because you're just going to be faster, smarter, more clever, and you're going to feel confident and you're going to execute better in the end. That's going to result in more money in your pocket. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this happy hour. As always, feel free to join me every day that the market is open for live trading. Until the next time, cheers.